Mike, Mike, one, two, one, two. Class is now in session. Welcome to episode three of the Study Hall Pod. I'm your host, Joe. Over there's Dre. Yo. Over there's Kells. What it do? And we have a special guest with us today. My boy's got fresh Hispanic coochie on his breath. Give it up for my boy, Nick Alex. Yo, yo. How's Orlando <laughs> treating you, Nick Alex? <laughs> fresh. <laughs> What the fuck? My boy Nick Lex came straight from Orlando. That's the Hispanic coochie <laughs> hub. Back. Oh, yeah, 100%, bro. Orlando, like, Spanish is basically a second language over there. It is. Like, you can't you can't get around, you get around without that. Without it. Uh, bro, when I was in Miami, bro, English. all the signs of the ball was like, in Spanish, bro. It's yes. like Spanish music in the market. 100%, yes. Are we not yeah. in Florida? <laughs> What's going on right nah, now? Since so I'm the whitest out of all y'all, can y'all motherfuckers learn to speak English, please? I mean. For real, bro. Like. That's that's one thing I'm like really really like uptight on, cause like we I'm an immigrant we came here and we fucking learned English we did what we had to do if you're here for 25 plus years like my auntie you don't know how to speak a lick of English come on bro, but like, <laughs> I can't I can't take my auntie to fucking Walmart every fucking time she wants asparagus or something oh, like people consider it like rude when you go to like other countries like you live like say like you like went to Spain. They didn't bother to learn Spanish. You just, like, just being mad annoying at every restaurant. People consider that to be rude. Yeah, when I was in <laughs> when I was in the French reason, airport, like, it's like acceptable here. When I was in the French airport, when we were going to Syria, like going to visit, and we landed in France, they won't fucking help you unless you speak French. Like they won't tell us where the gate is. They won't tell us where nothing is. Like they don't fuck with non-French speakers, but which French is hilarious because French are fucking idiots. But, are but the thing is, is like I'm not learning your language. They, I don't want to communicate yeah, with y'all. Losers, career long. Like the thing is right though, they, they create communities though, like. Like there's like blocks just of just Hispanic people, so yeah, it makes it sense why you know they'll like they bring their culture along with them. Yeah, but it like there's something matter, in Miami like called Little Haiti where like yeah. it's just literally just Haitian people, and like, they're every, real, like family oriented. Yeah, yeah. Like, close knit. So. so it kind of makes sense why you know over here they'll like you know speaks. You know, Plus, like, we right there, bro. Like, bro I'm not yeah. saying like the closest. One. I'm not saying you got to be Shakespeare with the shit, but like you know know how to get by. Like that's true though. The, People come over and they're like trying to do hand signals and shit. And I know damn well you've been here for a hot minute. Like, bro, just to, I don't know, man. That shit makes me upset. Man. But um, first of all, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SMG yeah, Sound Network. The intro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was a pretty good topic, bro. We couldn't skip that. No, a little quib. Yeah, bro. Um, Instagram and Twitter, SMG Sound Network. Amanda runs the Twitter. I run the Instagram. Uh, let's see follow us on patreon the first 50 people on the patreon get something special from me also until june the 20 dollar tier is five bucks you get three plus hours of content and mad benefits so until june y'all better take advantage of that shit and before we start again i want to shout out our boy julian who uh, graduated what is it like two three days ago he got his bachelor's in civil engineering my man is smart as shit bro like shout out to your boy Shout out to Black Excellence. Yeah, we're going to have him on here soon. Yes, sir. Let's praise that black man. All right, so let's get right to the shits. J. Cole dropped. The interlude. Dropped, dropped a super fire interlude. I was uh, listening to that shit under a fucking house because that's when that shit dropped. And I brought my little speaker under there and it kept me company while I was, uh, you know, swimming under the house, running duck work and shit. Conditions. Bro, <laughs> it was still fire. If it's if it's fire under there, it's going to be fire no matter what. Yeah, thanks. Bro, so that shit, I'm a sucker for that type of sample where it's like a soul sample type shit. Then it goes straight into some super trappy shit. That's yeah, my shit right uh, there. Yeah, that was dope. That's the recipe. It was about time. I think what was the last what's the last thing he dropped? Wasn't it KOD? Was it KOD? Yeah, that yeah. was his last his uh Oh was solo that was that project. just a, a, like a, it was KOD. Yeah, that was his album. last song. album. Mm. Then he, they had that Dreamville, uh, what yeah. was it, Revenge of the Dreamers? Or? He, was yeah. that, yeah. he was on that kind of heavy. Too. Yeah, he yeah. was on that heavy, but that, was, that wasn't his. That was, yeah, it was more project. like a group. It was more, yeah, yeah. his a group and his label. Yeah, I mean, um, I I don't know what else to say. I'm super excited for this album. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely into it. It sounds real good. If that's if that's the interlude, the rest of it's going to be really, really fire. So, Did you see the documentary? I didn't. I have oh, to go back and yeah. see that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I watched that. it. I, I watched it. minutes, bro. You want yeah. to it's only twelve minutes. It's crazy, man. I was like, I I was hoping it was going to be longer than that because I watched the uh, For Your Eyes Only documentary, and I think it was another document. Like it's a few more, uh, but I watched all of them, and, and like this one was only twelve minutes. I was like, Dang. all right, for the for the sake of the podcast, so that we can actually give you guys a show, we're gonna go 
watch it so that I can see it, and then we will be right back. And we are back. So um, I know you guys watched it for like the second or third time. So what did you guys, did you guys get anything new out of it the second or third time around? Um, not really. I think because the first time I watched it by myself, it was like I paid the most attention to it. So the yeah, we are we are hella time, distracted. My I bad. Was just, I was the second and third time I was just looking at the same same shit. No, I already paid attention to the whole thing. He wanted you know? to watch that cold shit for real. He yeah, he would talk through it. The, the <laughs> second it dropped, he commented first. And he was mad as hell. Y'all talking about? Talking <laughs> I was trying to shit. watch it like when I first woke up, but it said it was premiering at five o'clock. Yeah. But then it was like two out. It was ten o'clock when I was looking. It was like two more hours. So I'm like, okay, is it gonna drop at twelve or five? But either way, I had to go to work. Um, yeah, watching it. I mean, I'm. It just made me even more excited. I'm gonna be honest because, like, I like seeing rappers get reinvigorated and re excited and re inspired. Because with Cole, I mean, he's been talking about retiring low key for a while, and to mm-hmm. me, that just says. Like what Andre 3000 was doing when he was saying he's just uninspired, he can't make music, he feels like he can't make music. And I'm not saying J. Cole's on that level yet, but him like saying constantly that he's going to retire, that tells me that you're either uninspired, you're tired of the rap shit, I mean, all that. So to see him like suddenly reinvigorated again and like really, really excited for what he's doing, and that just makes me really, really excited for this album. Yeah, bro, you could really like hear the passion in his voice when he was talking, bro. He was talking like he was like real dude, like looking forward to that shit. Bro. Not even that, just the like confidence. The energy, yeah, like the energy. He had a hundred percent confidence yeah. in what he was doing. Like he he said it himself. He saw for the first time. He saw like the map clear as day, and he could like see exactly where he wanted to take the shit. Um, another thing was what was the other thing? I can't remember. Like for my first impression, I just like the way he, like he kind of told you the method or like the process of how he did it. Like he like he thought of it as basketball. He did drills, like seven minute drills every morning. That's what I was talking about, Cole. Because that's what I was talking about on the last podcast. I'm, uh, my prediction was Cole was going to be returning to form, like where he was like rapping yeah. in the mirror and like trying to get back to his like mm. not his a game. I mean, his he's, game. he's been in his a game for a really long time. I feel like but, he's just building out the foundation. The whole like time. he's going, yeah, he's going back to like the sideline story type shit where he was like rapping consistently and like actively trying to get better mm-hmm. back when he was the most like passionate about rap at the time yeah before he saw all the other shit that goes on in the rap game and I yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah but i'm i'm really really excited um i really hope he uh fulfills his promise and he works with more people because i mean not that he needs to work with people but it's just the curiosity like especially producers i want to hear him did with, the like, track list come out yet no no i can't wait to see it that year, those features, bro. He sounded so fucking fire, mm. bro. He was killing he it. He had bro. a fire fire lit under yeah. him, bro. Like that man was crazy. Um, I w- yeah, I want to see him work with different producers, like legendary producers. Like get like a Just Blaze beat, get like a Justice League beat, get with like get a whole bunch of different beats, work with a whole bunch of different people. Like make it, make it go out. Because he was saying he regrets not or not regrets, but it's like, damn, do I really want to go out? And not have worked with anybody. He don't want to regret it. Yeah. He, was and, he wants no regrets. Yeah. Yeah. And people have always been wondering what would J. Cole sound on like a blank beat or who he would sound like or how he would sound with this person. So, I mean, that would be really good too, just out of curiosity. Like he doesn't need to do it, but I mean, I would be excited to see it. I think he's going to do it because he wouldn't say it in a documentary if he hadn't already recorded that shit. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying he's not going to do it. I'm just wondering who he's going to work with. Do you yeah. guys? Yeah. Do you guys have any ideas, like, or who you would want J. Cole to work with before he goes out? He ain't gonna have no Kendrick on there. Yeah, he ain't gonna have no Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah, no Kendrick. That's sad. He ain't gonna have no Kendrick on there, man. It's gonna man. be like, it's gonna be just like Boz and them, bro. Back no, man. It's gonna no. be Boz. He can't do that. That doesn't yeah. count. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't, yeah. count. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. count, bro. Back cash, bro. You can't use Dreamville yeah. people. Dreamville, you have to think outside the box. No Dreamville allowed. You've used Dreamville for mad long. And yeah, speaking of Dreamville, Dreamville, Boz needs to drop too, because Boz hasn't dropped since like two. Uh, what is it? Two t- or uh, Too High to Riot, or whatever that album was called, back in like 2017. Like he hasn't dropped in a minute. And Boz is fire, so Boz needs yeah. to put something out. Fun guys, time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no Dreamville people. Work with people outside of your show. Like you worked with Twenty One Savage. That was dope. Find, that was dope. Yeah. Find someone in that 
avenue, like somebody like completely different that you've never worked with before. Give us something awesome before you go out. No, no, bro, I don't want to hear the J. Cole and Playboy Cardi song. No, bro. I'm not saying that. I don't think he just branch out. I yeah, think, I think, I think, think J. Cole. Is the only yeah, J. Cole's like a different that. breed, though, of, of rapping compared to the new age rappers. I think 21 Savage is the only one out of them that can do that. But he's going to songs with like, those lyrical rappers because he, yeah. like, he not, like, he not rapping like crazy good. Uh-huh. But he not bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he, he give me some He's standing on beat, like, like, he holding this shit down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like. <laughs> Like your other young niggas are just be on there saying retard bullshit. No, but I I think J Cole picks who he features with very very wisely. Like he'll know like they'll have some sort of. I don't want to hear the Corday feature. Me neither. Yeah, I think Corday is literally a J Cole. That's what I'm saying. Sense. He's a J Cole spawn, so it's just gonna be J Cole featuring J Cole. Yeah, like you want to tell the difference. You or know. Xerox J Cole. I mean, no, he's really not like another J Cole though, because. He gives, Not yet, but he's just probably He gives me that same energy. Yeah, he gives yeah. me the same energy right now. He's like, he's, he's trying to be. Nah, he's cold, but he's, I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, he's no. not. I, don't, I wouldn't say he's similar to J. Cole, but I guess like the way they rap or, you know, the type, of, the type of rapper that yeah, he is, like the type of the label and the name for that type of rapper, I guess Corday kind of fits into it because like he raps. He's not the typical mumble rapper and shit that you see. Not even nowadays. that. Like, just, like his style of rapping is like J. Cole's. Yeah, his style. Like his. Mm-hmm. Wait. Yeah, he's he's a Jake. He's Wait, from he the Jake Cole tree. Yeah, like, that's not an shit. insult. Yeah. yeah, like being from the Jake Cole tree is a good thing. That's not an insult. Yeah, I don't I, know why. You know, and the thing about no, Cordae, I don't think it's an insult. I just I don't think he's another Jake Cole because like he don't he don't have the same like he, he don't talk Cole about the same stuff. Hard, bro. We're not saying <laughs> y'all, that he, y'all haven't we're listened to the mixtapes. Y'all haven't bro, listened to his mixtapes. We're not saying that he J Cole. We're saying that his rapping style was influenced. I think he's still developing as a rapper. Like he still hasn't really gone like really found his own one project spawn. Like yeah, he's only one project. Like he like the next the next one or something. No, that means his style rapping came directly from J Cole. It did. I don't know, bro. It did. He not as good as J Cole. He gotta be. You know what I'm saying? I don't think like obviously he's not like as good as J Cole, but like if you listen to yeah, he's, music he's from the J yeah. Cole tree. Like he looked up to J Cole, and that's who influenced his rap style. He been, I'm not he saying he's a mini J Cole. Cole. He beat. doesn't rap about the same. Yeah, shit he comes from that cloth. Like, he's cut from that cloth. He's like <laughs> I don't know what like, to, you want. You want to agree with that? This nigga is guarding J Cole. I don't know. I'm real, not real guarding. Real. I'm, a, I'm a huge J Cole bro. fan. He ain't even trying to hear none of this shit y'all saying about Cordae right now. I look at them as like. Kind of different though, like yeah, no shit. They're know. different, but I'm saying he's influenced. Like J but Cole I, is probably the reason Corday wanted to rap. You know, they like, ain't for even example. that different though. Oh, hundred percent. Did, did Corday say that? I don't know. I'm just giving you an example. Dude, if he did it, it, I believe he would. You're if making it seem like an him. insult to come from the J Cole, Cole tree. He make it smile like it's an insult to J Cole to say no, someone. No, that's what I'm saying, bro. J Cole has mad sons. It's cool. That's what rappers. That's how big rappers do though. J J Cole. There's rap. Mo- a lot of rappers are our age, and they listen to J Cole growing up, so they're gonna get their yeah. rap influence from J Cole. It's cool. It's not an insult. Yeah, it's not. No, but I think, I think most most young people getting their influence from somewhere else. Like where? Like, like Drake. Say you like, future and shit. Mm, a, the nigga that a lot of people are copying is like NBA Young Boy. A lot of people copy. No, I ain't about this. It's like that. Dude, young, the people though. that can rap. Tell me like young, young rap. Young yeah. Like the new artists that can rap for real, they're almost a hundred percent inspired by Cole. Like they listen to Cole, and Cole made them want to rap. Yeah. Cole, like Cole Kendrick, like the so niggas. they get yeah, their Cole style, Kendrick. just yeah. like how uh, J Cole used to listen to Nas and Jay Z to like get his rapping style up, and he would emulate the way like they would rap. Our and generation he formed will it into his own style. Yeah. So Corday is doing the exact same thing with Cole. It's just the circle of rap life. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the exact same thing. <laughs> That every rapper did. Yeah. Every rapper picks that one guy that they want their career to be modeled after. If we called J. Cole right now, he would tell you, yes, Corday is my son. <laughs> and I love him. I'm very proud of him. The DNA proves. Look, the, the first time you heard Corday rap was on a J. Cole beat. Uh, ha, ha, I really don't we the got first him. time I listened. I really that don't was the remember first time he put out. Uh huh. 100%. Dre is correct. Dre is correct. What was it? Old niggas or whatever that shit called? Yeah. What's the name of it? Oh, niggas. whatever that shit called. You know what it's called. Yeah, it's called old niggas? It's called old niggas, nigga. Yeah, okay. you know what it's called. No, almost, <laughs> I was almost thinking that was like the name of a, um, a Boondock song. song or some shit. Like, ain't there a Boondock song? You just song mad because your ass is old. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hard. That shit is hard. Yeah. 
I like Snoop Dogg, them though, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Had mad good rappers on there. Yeah, wow, this rappers. is low key a hit. Low key. <laughs> mad good rappers. Uh, Club hey, Snoop Dogg with Dog Nate Dogg They had a Nate Dogg <laughs> hook. Nate, a Nate Dogg hook was like failed, the most boy. legendary shit. Yeah, it's a guaranteed True. W. Yeah, that's a stimulus package. Does anyone? <laughs> does anyone stimulus. like recently have like a Nate Dogg type hook? Like you have to have their hook. I don't want to um, compare to Nate Dogg's, but like separately. It's, no, I'm not. I'm not saying they have to compare, but I'm saying like, I'm like that sort of thing, like where their their hook is a cheat code. It's mm. always like that, Wait. Drake. Sway, yeah, you, say everybody sway, wants yeah. a Drake feature. If you Literally. get a Drake feature, bam, you got a hit. How about Little Baby? He's been on the run right now. Little Baby, yeah. Little no, baby. but Drake doesn't specify in his hooks. hooks. Like he'll he'll do a hook and then like a verse. Bieber. I'm talking about like just a hook. You do Bieber. like a oh, yeah, okay, you do a four four bar hook and mm. you dip, and that Bieber. shit's a fucking uh, banger. Bieber. Travis Bieber, yeah, Travis. Travis do that shit. Travis. How about uh, Tori? I had another one. Tori, Tori, Tori Tori's good at hooks. Tori, yeah. Chris, you think Chris Brown? Yeah. Yeah, Chris yeah, Brown. Chris like, gonna see, he going to bar your yeah. ass up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris, Chris yeah. Brown has low-key been a cheat code for like multiple generations. 100%. Like that was Kalani, like, that was, Kalani got the fire. Oh my God, yes. Kalani be sliding. Hey, you remember when, happened. you remember like way back in the day when, when niggas was sprinkling a little bit of Neo on the track? Like, yeah. Neo was a cheat code for a little bit. bit. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, nigga had a little dash of that Neo on there. <laughs> And the ladies was eating that shit up. This probably like okay. 2005, 2004, and, uh, 2006. They just put Neo on ass songs and just was hits. 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 Like, yeah, imagine, imagine uh, what's that shit called with Fabulous? Make Me Better or some shit. Like, yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine that without Neo. It's just Fab. <laughs> that yeah, shit would nah. low-key be terrible. You know it. The the, only, the main part you singing is Neil's part. Yeah, that's, I don't even that's know. Part everyone knows. I don't even really remember. <laughs> hey, his I don't part. Die. I don't know that one fabulous bar from that song. But then again, though, I, don't, I ain't no fabulous ass nigga. That's probably that shit in New York. Yo, he uh, yeah. He made he made Jeezy fire. I am a Florida boy. Now Jeezy was already fighting. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to you know start start a fight. You want to start a Jeezy. fight? Nigga yeah. gonna get a mic thrown at his ass. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga want all the hood niggas to jump him. A little chopper die, nigga. <laughs> Oh shit! Um, let's see who else. So, who else dropped? Zay dropped. Yeah. Isaiah. What, did, what did y'all think? Wait, of that? Isaiah Rashad. Did, did you hear that, Kels? Wait, are you? He gonna, dropped just that song, right? Go over the fact that he's trying to go into. Yeah, I heard that shit, but it was Wanda, like, a, like a week ago at least. I think. That's okay, gonna be when it first came that, out. I think I was on YouTube at a time. It's gonna be his album on the fourteenth. Yeah. He's talking about releasing. Oh, hundred percent. Because after and in the video, he played like a second single at the end of the video. Do y'all um? Here's a question I was thinking about. I mean, do y'all wish that? Because um, I don't know which direction this album is going, just based off like the one song. It could be completely different. That could just be like a standout. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But the way I'm thinking is he's moving away from that Suns tirade like type sound. Like I don't, well, I don't know because um he had a, he had a song like that. He, he always has one like upbeat song on his album, mm-hmm. so it could just be a random. One. Yeah, but I'm saying like Suns tirade had part. Mm-hmm. Would you uh? Well, let's let's just imagine that the whole album sounds like that single. Would you have wished that he would have evolved the Sun's tirade? Like, I don't want to hear that shit. What? If the whole album sounds like that single, I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, that's fair. I'm I'm not gonna like it. Yeah, he has to switch it up. Yeah, he got too good for that shit to be. Yeah, fun. yeah. The Sun's tirade that's is beautiful. It was a good I, single. I want him single. to evolve oh, yeah, that 100%. sound more. I want him to play yeah. with that sound more because mm-hmm. that sound is missing in hip hop a lot. Like, not a lot of the bigger acts are doing stuff like that anymore. Hell yeah, man. and that's like, what's that's wrong? yeah, that's part of that's like one of my favorite parts of hip hop is that sort of sound, that sort of vibe. Yeah, for sure, bro. I say you can just put it on, bro. That's, yeah, that's chill soul, shit. That's that's in the background. Trap, just, oh, just it's lit. chill, but the drums knock. Yeah. And he's like rapping that shit. You know, like we don't get a lot of from like the major league artists anymore. He ain't doing too much. Like he not like trying to outperform the beat. He like just going along with the beat. But at the same time, he's but he's still something. eating. Hey, hard, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Do y'all ever feel like some like what do he be saying, man? Sometimes he be like, yeah, like sometimes. I no, don't get me wrong. I like his music. Shit. Sometimes he be like he be rapping, then it be like, what did he say though? Sometimes he be like, it, it's almost hard to tell what he say. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Is it no. like that for y'all? No, you know no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go in my library and see which song. Yo, look at this yeah, Dreamville ass dude, man. Second yeah. we bring up TDE, he gets all upset and uptight and shit. TDE got you. a crazy I got roster. some of his music on my shit. Yo, like, what do he even be yeah. saying, though? And we're like, bars? Yeah. 
good ass shit. It's some, yeah. it's some, it's some of really his songs. Really song, y'all probably be skipping over these shits, but for some reason, I like them. But then when I like really I listen to it, it'd be, shot, like, it'd be like a part. All right, so y'all will know these songs. That's how I get played all the way down. Don't play no shit. We'll get copyrighted, bro. I'm not finna play it. I'm not finna play it while we sit. Gotta play it on mic. Oh my god, like a vendetta against like any other like rapper. <laughs> I'll like, be putting these shits on YouTube, and if YouTube like hears like a note from a song, he ain't saying we're cold, saying. <laughs> ain't no right. It's not cold though. It's not like, come on, bro. <laughs> I know Cole be saying more. He's a, young, he's a young boy fan, but for Cole, I know he ain't dropped a lot. <laughs> <Yeah. long. laughs> what Cole did it better? I think it's a young boy fan, but for Cole. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I really, really, really hope that this album doesn't sound exactly like the single. I don't want to hear 10 songs, 12 songs of that. It's a he good song. Do I do not hate that song, but I don't want to hear a whole album of that song. He have like songs like that on his album. Always, he always do a couple of songs like that on his album. Mm-hmm. But Cause Park is Park don't sound nothing like that. It sounds tirade, bro. It sounds like an outlier. Mama, I knew I was about it. That, it don't sound mm-hmm. nothing like the whole album. Yeah, that's true. But I've been disappointed before. Like Schoolboy Q let me down with his last album. Yeah, but I said, I said, let me down. <laughs> I ain't gonna put Schoolboy Q's transgressions on my boy. Oh my God. Yeah, see, right. well, no, they're all brothers. My boy Sonny, come on, man, don't put that on Sonny. Sonny ain't do that. True, my bad, bro. Sylvia demo fire. My bad, bro. You know me? I'm about 100 percent from the field. Like Sergi Baca. All right, so I read something pretty exciting before I came over here. Jay Z is being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Man, that's fire. As he like, should. Bro. That's amazing. Yeah. Tina Turner is being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of hey, Fame. Drop the applause, Joe. Oh, the applause on here is terrible. Damn, it'll man. It'll blow. It'll blow their eardrums out. Hold I on, a whole mic like clap for hoes. Yeah, do do like a yeah. Black excellence right there. Black excellence, man. Yeah. And name the other those other two black excellent folk right there, bro. Name the other two black excellent folk. Tina Turner black is excellence. also getting uh, nominated. Black excellence right there. Or not nominated. She's being inducted. inducted like yeah. she is 100% inducted. in there. And LL Cool J. LL Cool About J. Time. Legend, man. Shout About out to LL Cool J, bro. 25 years of hit song. I can't believe that it's taken Most underrated them. rap career, bro. LL Cool J. Oh, yeah. That's facts. Um... Hip hop is always like super late to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Like, how recent was Tupac? That was like two, like two years, years ago. ago. Yeah, wow. two years Biggie ago. Biggie was last year, I think, or something wow. like that. Two, three years ago. I mean, it's insane, bro. Like, mm-hmm. and the only rapper that they had to wait hella long was like uh, Ron DMC, but because they had the rock song. Yeah, so like, was, like familiar. Uh, why is there by now? I think hip hop is old enough to have its own Hall of Fame. Like, we could make an actual. Yeah, bro, I don't understand yeah, why Hall of Fame. Yeah, people always talk about it not not being a thing. But it's stupid easy to just buy a building and name it Hip Hop of Fame. And that's start, that's like, what I'm saying. That's all like, it takes, yeah. All you got to do is just give out the words. And we can make it weigh yeah. as much as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The it, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame way. weighs as much as it does because of the people. Yeah. Because, I mean, it takes them It takes them like, forever to get nominated. And that might be their only Who's new is like worthy of being a, like, it's like a rock artist? It's like worthy of being in the Hall of Fame. Has... We got to look this up. How many uh, how many rock artists were inducted into the Rock and Roll like, Hall of Fame like recently? And what new rock artists are like Hall of Fame worthy? Not, nobody other than my dog Haley. Haley Hall of Fame. I mean, I don't real. I don't listen to rock like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, all that shit sounds the same to me. Paramore, that's Hall of Fame to bro. me. Paramore Hall of Fame. That's facts. That's Hall of Fame. That's big shit, facts. Bro. Room Five Hall of Fame. That's corny. Uh, that's yeah. Hall of Fame rock music. Yes. Ass. <laughs> Ass. But naked juice right there. Hip hop is holding it down for rock and roll, man. Rock and roll is like dead. Nobody listens to that bullshit anymore. I like Panic at the Disco. Yes, of course. Panic at the Disco can end racism. <laughs> I firmly yeah. believe it. We just don't utilize it enough. I chimed in. Yes, bro. <laughs> no matter what race you are, you're singing along. Right, bro. Uh, Fun had the rock game sewed up, bro, for like six months. Mm-hmm. Fell off strong as fuck. Strong as fall off. Of any music artist ever, bro. Because that ain't nothing even happened, bro. It's like they had a bad album and fell off. They just like fell off. Like out of nowhere, bro. I don't know what happened. They're from a top. Of, the nigga saying we are young. Oh, yeah. oh. They fell off. Uh. See, see, bro. I said fun. Uh. And only me and Joe. Only me and Joe knew who fun was. That album. And they got one of the biggest songs of our generation. That, that, <laughs> yeah, album, that song. album is amazing. It's fire. Top bro. to bottom is incredible. Some nights I stay up. 
You ain't gonna leave me hanging like that on microphone, bro. <laughs> Give me your own band, bro. All right, I'm gonna let you sing hey. about these crackers yourself. That's I've never listened to the whole album by them though. You should I, listen I to the whole. I heard that one song. Yeah, that I was the old song. Tune. You should 100 percent listen to that it's, album. It's good. I don't it's even good. listen to the. I don't, I don't fuck with rock music like that, it, and I love that album. I didn't even listen to the actual. Song. I listened so. to like the the Jersey mix of it. Oh, we got young. Yeah, no boy, listen you, to you, the you Jersey mix. Oh, no. Greatness, boy. <laughs> what is this man doing, boy? Bro, I know you miss Jersey, but you just just go back to Jersey. You even hear the Janelle Monae part? Carry they be in the car dancing and shit. Number eight. <laughs> he didn't hear the number no. eight on that joint. He just talking about the Jersey Club mix. He didn't hear the live, 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 Jersey niggas would make a mix of that. Yeah, fuck you guys. Fuck is up with y'all, man. It's arrogant, bro. It's fucking arrogant. <laughs> God, damn, These bro. Jersey niggas, man. Are we just taking the arrogance, bro? And no one sped it up. <laughs> Me do that shit down here. No, just <laughs> listen. The, the, shit, the song bro. is great by itself. Yeah, what the fuck? You don't have to do all that bullshit to all right, it. All right, I'll do my homework when I get home. Okay? Yeah. Bro, yeah. is that good enough for both of you? Bro, are you How kidding you never, me? Yes. Okay. How have you never heard the original version of We Are Young? Bro, that was all over the radio. Mm-hmm. That was everywhere. Like, there's no way you didn't hear it. My moms know that song. Bro. <laughs> Everyone knows that. My mom just knows that song. That shit is fire, bro. It is incredible. That shit is fire. It's top five song about generation, bro. All Germans, top five. Big yeah. facts. Easy as fuck. There's, there's there. some, like, there's, like, some pop singles that are, like, slap. That's that slap, slap for everybody. Bro, Destin Derulo, What to Say, Bob. Yes. Stay in a time, bro. Bob. Bob. That shit ain't hard, Kells. No, that shit hard. I that remember I used hard. to be like on YouTube listening yeah, to that shit. Hard, that right. thing. <laughs> bro, Jason, <laughs> Jason Derulo yeah. is like a huge ass artist in Australia. That was like the weirdest thing I'd ever heard in my entire really? life. He's huge, like in general, bro. He be touring like hella crazy. And he a Florida boy, so I support this. Yeah, but Amanda, Amanda, shout out to Amanda. Amanda was telling me like he's all <laughs> to he is all over the radio. And like and she turns on the radio, yeah, in Australia, and all she hears is Jason Derulo. I'm like, there's mad new music that came out. What are y'all playing Jason Derulo for? He got new songs, bro. I know, but like only in Australia, though. Y'all have like y'all have seven Jason Derulo songs just on repeat and shit. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> I thought That's Australia funny. fucked with hip hop, but they just they don't know shit about shit. They just got. She said they got no hip hop stations. Like all the hip hop stations are just like black pop artists. Wow, like, really? Yeah, the black pop artists so are rappers. What, what is that? They got no black Australian pop. drill music over there. Yeah, who's the black pop artists that they aren't rappers? Nor- like, like, like Normani. Normani's the only one I can think of. I like the weekend. Like okay, yeah. A whole bunch of like poppy safe shit. Drake. Are we are we going with the weekend? No, Drake. The, the weekend's black. No, Jersey. Yeah. He's Ethiopian. He's from Africa. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. I knew he had the nigga hair, but I didn't know like No, I <laughs> yeah. I, I had the nigga hair for sure. Bro. I knew somebody that might well, where you thought he was. I knew black somebody that might have been cousins with the weekend because they're from the same village in Cause, Africa. Cause, oh yeah, and you never know in Toronto, bro, because they just like... He see that boy and looked the other way like he don't remember. Toronto, him. they just random, the bro. Village. You never know. There's so many different people in Toronto. That <laughs> is true, yeah, bro. So you, you can't really tell what somebody is from Toronto, bro. They could be literally anything. Bro, quick fucking Canada story, because this shit was fucking stupid. I went to Canada, and um, I went to the western part of Canada. I was like, okay, whatever. Hold on. Is it Canada slander? Because this is an American podcast. No. It's not slander? Well, I mean, yes and no. Like, it's not... I'm not like, you know... And the whole point is, they didn't have any hip hop radio, and they didn't have Drake playing at all. Oh, really? In Canada, that's what I'm saying. And in the <laughs> Western part, it's Van Bieber. Yeah, they're playing like Justin Bieber. They're playing like fucking Celine Dion. I'm like, bro, y'all aren't playing Drake. Bro, Canada's going through it right now, bro. I was like, you be saying that they're again? going through it. What's I going know. on? Yeah. Now what happened there? They think locked down again. The whole whole country. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah My cousins bro. are in Canada. They're like, he was talking oh, about I, one last beer before the lockdown. I was like, bro, lockdown again? Yeah, the yeah, fuck? yeah, yeah. They were yeah, talking bro. about. I think I think they're riding in the streets right now. Yeah, they they're, are. They're bro. sick and tired of it's it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Damn. Damn. I free healthcare shit. Suck my fucking dick, nigga. U S A U S A U S A U S A. Damn, I think Kelly ain't American at all, man. Man, I'm taking all your Patreon cut. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Go American, um, the American health system is ass. <laughs> hey, 
I'm sorry, sir, but as a non American, you're going to be quiet. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie to you. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to have the right freedom now. to say fuck up, America because they've been wild to us black folks. So they say fuck them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, they bro, give you the check after you go there. No, bro, listen. Compared to they like, do. compared to Canada shit. They'll be, be low key, they'll be low key robbing Look, bro, you. Bro, Canada shit might be free. bucks for some fucking crutches and an ace man. Exactly, bro. Like, what the? Bro, Canada shit might be free, but you have to, like, if you want to do like a major surgery or some shit. You have to go on a waiting list, and that waiting list is dumb long. Right, dumb long. That is there's true. Plenty of people. Everybody can afford it. Like they no, they die before they get to the yeah, list. Yeah, before they even get to. That the makes end. sense. And they'll call them, and be like, "Hey, it's your turn." They'll be sense, like, bro. "He's been dead for like months." Sheesh. Yeah, like it's terrible. That kind of hurts. Yeah. yeah, that sucks. Yeah, so at least like the system is okay. It's quote unquote corrupt, where you have to pay more to get good. But I would rather like pay the money and get my shit like decent than. Stand in line for some free shit and die on the way. But like, low I'm not key, even gonna make it to the front of the line. You know, if if they realize you don't have like any sort of like health care, like sometimes they'll just leave you there. At the same time, or they'll though, just fix you up just enough for you to same get time out. Though, the hospital. Joseph? It's unfair though because yeah, they'll, they'll do you dirty, bro. Because somebody is like, just enough to get you, know, you up like, out of there. Like, yeah, yeah, like you're about to park a lot. Don't hard like, oh, like, Of course, oh, yes. You, like, you <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm saying, no. People think. People think like the free healthcare shit is like a utopia, and it's not. That's what I'm trying to clarify. Like the free shit, you're paying the price in time. True, like, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it might be free, but you might not even get it in time. You know, so it's not a perfect system. But yeah, it has its cons. But free yeah. healthcare isn't perfect either. Like you yeah. can't. It's not like the end all be all. It's not the perfect solve. You know. Yeah. I'm just giving a second perspective. I'm I feel not, you. I'm I not feel Republican you. at all. Playing double advocate. Yeah, I love I love all sorts of uh, mm. progression. Progression. You're right, Miss Mad Democrats in San Marco, bro. I'm an I'm an outlier. Okay. Bro, none of these none of these white folks fuck with me anyway on my block. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I fucking I waved at one of them once. They like looked at me stupid. Now every time they wave, I look at them stupid too. It's like, nah, you don't get a second chance. They do be ignoring the shot as we be outside. Yeah, Plus bro. Rats, clean bro. Nicole- or they, or, 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 or <laughs> no, they give you that, that weird look that. When Nicolex came over to my house and he was walking like to the fucking uh walking to the door, <laughs> one of my <laughs> one of my white neighbors walking over, she looked at him like up and down and shit. I'm like, oh my god, this bitch is judgmental as fuck. <laughs> I didn't oh my even god, see I better it. watch for his ass. I didn't, I didn't even see. see. I didn't even <laughs> see it, man. This nigga getting low key profile. <laughs> I know, right? You I ain't know even know it. So no nigga a genius. I know, right? Couldn't be a less less hood hood of a nigga. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that shit was stupid, bro. She was like eyeing him up and down, looking at him funny. But she's like the most piece of shit. Like she's mad at me because I beat up her like grandson one time. He was talking shit about John, and I don't take John Slander like that. Feel me? Bro. Yeah, I you beat the you fought It's on site. Bro, I, I beat the brakes off that dude. Dicky for the cuz cast. Scrawny ass white dude, bro. Dicky for the cuz cast. Oh, I would have folded him. Come on, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Joe folded I ain't never on, seen Joe, Joe folded, folded nigga, him. Though. I ain't never bro. seen Joe folded nigga. Oh, I see. You folded him. I was going to say, Joe, you, you done caught a body, boy? Hell yeah. That I boy beat the got shit dirty. out of that motherfucker, bro. For John? Tough. I'm not holding For back, John, bro. He going, he bro, going he was crazy. About, bro, he was joking about <laughs> John. Hold on. He was joking about John being autistic with an autistic brother. I was that like, makes, bro. That makes no sense. But. I mean, a popular opinion? Yeah. Go ahead. I find they qualify some to say to make those jokes. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. he was, no, bro, oh, yeah. bro, hold up, nah. he, was he wasn't joking. <laughs> he, he, from experience. <laughs> nah, he wasn't. He wasn't joking though. He probably be bullying the shit out of his brother too. Yeah, he probably a bitch ass nigga. To his he, yeah, he wasn't joking though. He was like trying to hurt my brother. Like he was saying like hurtful ass shit. Like it wasn't even like a joke for real. Like he was like, he was like, damn, why John got to be with us all the time? Like you're making fun of John. He's like, yeah, John sucks. But John and I said, no, I said some shit like at least John could talk, and then he wanted to fight, and I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and I said once again, at least John can talk. Uh, I don't know what you said was much worse. But John be low key cool though. He be chilling, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like John he don't bother nobody. John never bothers anybody, and he he didn't even do nothing to him, and he's just bothered by the fact that my brother's with us, and he happens to be autistic. That's fucking terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. Say some hurtful ass shit to my brother. I'll beat the shit out of you. Nigga probably mad because time. he can't escape. He he feel like he got to deal with it at home, and then he get yeah. away from home and still got. Oh my gosh, it's driving hey, me crazy. Home, get on his nah, nerves, probably. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, bro, but my brother. Yeah, the no some bitch ass shit. John though. literally yeah. sits in the corner, and does nothing. It's not like he's like actively yeah. bothering, dude. You know, 
Like that was, yeah, John to be like mad quiet. It's just some stupid shit to say, bro. But anyway, how did we get on this? I don't know. You went to the for do. some reason. It went from it went from it went from a healthcare it's, it's to like right, true, 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 true. And then we slid hands. into this. Shit. You started confessing and that's the beauty of this podcast. I pounded in there. <laughs> <laughs> I pounded in there. I his day. brain into <laughs> a pulp. Yeah, bro, I beat the fucking brakes off him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had his ass, man. <laughs> oh, pause. Yeah, man. Why you okay. Had to, <laughs> why you make it so why had to do me like that? Yeah. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah. Let's get away from uh, all this uh, serious hip hop talk. Uh, we were bringing up something while we were waiting for Kelly, and uh, we were discussing. <laughs> we were discussing <laughs> greatest <laughs> cartoons. See me. How do you want to do this? Do you want to like greatest cartoons? Like greatest cartoons, like period, or do you want to divide them into like adult I think, cartoons? Like, yeah, let's divide them up. Like that. Yeah, let's I think it's better. Up. All right, so we're gonna do Boondocks. We can do ten regular and five adult because there ain't that many adults for the choose true, from. True, true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, but it is, but not like let's do it. Uh, let's do it subjective because subjective is a lot more fun. Subjective. Yeah. Oh, your own opinion? Like your own yeah, opinion? Yeah, 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 your own opinion. Yeah, oh, let's get it cracking. Like, like your own personal like, list? Like, like Boondocks is the best thing Boondocks. to ever touch television, boy. Boondizzy. Boondocks go harder than the news. I'm out of that. I'm out of that at all. Yeah, Boondocks is goaded. Yeah. Oh, Boondocks go. go harder than the news, nigga. Let's Boondocks or CNN? <laughs> Boondocks. 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 Boondocks, baby. Nigga. Sucks. We don't watch no fake news around here. <laughs> let's see. What are what are some obvious ones? We got um, obvious, SpongeBob. SpongeBob is obvious. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is obvious. Yeah, Scooby Doo, that's my Ed shit. Nettie. Tom and Jerry is Tom obvious. Jerry. Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry. Yeah. love them niggas. Looney Tunes is obvious. Looney Tunes. Doc- Doctors like um Dexter's Dexter Laboratory. Dexter's. That's what I'm saying. Dexter's hey, Laboratory hold on, hold is up there. On. Don't give Dexter? me no shit. We we Power holding up, bro. Oh yeah, oh, bro. Yeah. 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 We were just talking about that shit. I told you, boy. I told you, bro. I thought I was to stand on my ten toes. Yeah, nah, bro. Powerpuff Girls go hard as fuck, bro. I don't give a shit what nobody says. They beat the shit out of more Jojo Jojo. Bro, they will give me that more Jojo Jojo. He ain't want no smoke. I felt bad for him, dude. He want no smoke. Brains out. The one that the one that creeped me out the most was the lobster one. The no, red devil looking one, yeah, yeah. He had that, like, he had that like that like, soft ass voice, yeah, with the slick to the side. Yeah. I was like, yo, is that a girl? Yeah, that shit was guy. creepy as fuck, bro. Oh, let's see who else. Oh, daddy reminds me. Jimmy Neutron, cool name. Jimmy, yeah. Neutron Jimmy Neutron is up there, bro. But that's cartoon or what? That's that cartoon. Like CGI. What? Nah, Jimmy Neutron's CGI. live action. Nah, it's cartoon. It's cartoon, that was like bro. CGI. It's cartoon, bro. That shit was animated. It was. It was. It falls in the animation bracket. I just, but I had forgot what I was computer animated. While y'all was saying Jimmy Neutron. What? Yes, I was saying so I, I don't forgot it was. Uh, some, it and was you was gonna say code name kid next door. Yes, sir, you yes, say sir. Code name kid next door. Yeah. 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 Files. You know what I'm saying? Friends. <laughs> Friends. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my brain. <laughs> oh, what about um courage? Courage of Cowardly yes, Dog. Yeah, that. Boy, that shit used to have me scared. Turn boy. Return, on, return on the slot, bro. <laughs> we, yes, we, <laughs> that, it was that creepy, shit bro. There, bro, had me like looking out my window at night, like Ooh. Malcolm what about X. Chowder was Chowder's up there. What about hey, crazy? I, I love know. that shit. Hey Arnold. Arnold. Hey Arnold is mad underrated. underrated hey Arnold yeah. is fire, bro. Mad underrated. I still watch Rug, that Rug, Have you ever seen Doug? Doug is awesome too. Oh, and yeah. niggas ain't seen Doug, bro. But Doug go hard. Because Doug was like. We got yeah, the like very Doug. last yeah. like episodes of Doug. Like we were the tail end of Doug. Yeah. I like Doug because Doug was the first opportunity to like remove the race. Uh huh. It was like orange and like green and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like, true, true. was a was it was was a black dude. <laughs> oh, like what about Chalk Zone? Yeah, Chalk, Chalk, Chalk Zone. Zone. Chalk Zone was lit. What's that? It was uh, this uh, animated show, yeah. and the whole show was done in, in chalk. chalk. Yeah, it was like stop motion chalk animation, and that shit was fucking fire, dude. Chalk Zone. Uh, what about um? I'll pass. Teenage Robot. I forgot, I forgot how it oh, went. Oh, uh, yeah, my yeah. life is a teenage, teenage robot. robot. A teenage oh, that's robot. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Are you dug in the crates right there? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm in the crates right, right then, boy. That was fire. Ben 10. Ben 10. I, I told you, bro. Ben 10 is hard, bro. Ben 10 like that. Ben 10 is fire, ben 10. bro. I know you and Kenny going to grill your cartoons because you niggas is nerds, man. Bro, bro, I didn't bro, watch bro, Ben 10, bro. I used to watch the Pokemon shits. Man, Pokemon. I watch all them. It's our demographic. We all live. Pokemon, come on, bro. come on, nah, come bro. on! I mean, I ain't watch. I watched it when it was on the TV. I used to watch yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, watch- nigga. Samurai Jack, Samurai, Samurai Jack, Jack is yeah. yeah, Samurai Jack is definitely up there. Johnny never, Bravo is up there. Johnny Bravo taught Jack. me how to get the hoes. You crazy, bro? Samurai Jack is hard, bro. Even though different, he wasn't bro. getting them, Johnny Bravo, Johnny Bravo, hey, he bro, was getting them, but then he went. He was like, 
He did. He nigga that he, made me want to have hoes. Yeah, matter of fact, Johnny yeah. Bravo taught me persistence. That's what it was. Yeah, he yeah, would bro. get some, and he would. Get, he, yeah, because he when he started out, he was like, he was like some skinny, skinny like nerd. Not stop. He ain't let it he, get him down. He bulked he up. Diesel, like, nigga. Be, Elite oh, yeah. blonde pop. I know, right? <laughs> blonde pop going crazy. Boy, when it, boy, Hopped down on everything that walked past, bro. Hopped down on everything that walked past, bro. Certified shooter. And Eddie, them niggas taught me how to get the money. Bro, and Eddie, and bro, and Eddie. Gave me unrealistic expectations of, of jawbreakers, bro. Oh my! <laughs> no, yeah, see, bro. The way you used to hold, the used to hold. Bro, I used <laughs> to love that. Hell, like kickballs in your mouth and shit. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah I, went, I went to a store one time. I was like, "Let me get some uh, jawbreakers," because I'd never had a jawbreaker before. They're yeah. like over there, and I'm like, "What fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> you want me to break your jaw? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that what double D had? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god, double D. Yeah, Which one is. was it? Was it Eddie? I think Eddie was the dumb one, right? Ed. Ed? Mm, nah. Was it Ed the dumb one? I think Ed, yeah, Ed, 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 Ed was the dumb one. Ed was the Eddie was the short one. Eddie with the wire, yeah. Ed was the short one. That shit had Wait, Ed right. was the short one. Double D, we know Double D was the one with the hat. Yeah. With yeah. The scully. Uh huh. Now I thought Ed was the dumb one, bro. Ed, no, I bro. Yeah, no, it got to be the small, the short one, bro. No, no, no. Because Ed, I remember the Ed, Indian Ed is the, Ed like, is the tall, stupid one. Because you yeah, remember, I Ed was the tall, stupid one. Yeah, because he had a pebble in his shoe and he ate the he fucking has, slide. Yeah, and, and he had a sister. <laughs> he had a sister. She always called him Ed. That's how I remember. Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. Sarah. Oh my, bro. Sarah oh, was yo, Sarah was no, strong Eddie, as fuck. Eddie with the Y was the short, smart one. Yes, bro. Yeah. He, was the, he was the leader. Uh-huh. Come on, man. What time is my That's head? what I was Eddie, thinking at Eddie first, but then man. I thought oh, Double D was Eddie the work, nigga. Rolf used to be like, Ed the boy or Ed something. Boy. <laughs> and I thought he was punking the shirt on because you know you used to put like a fire rap on a nigga and, and hey, flex Rolf that bicep. Funny, bro. Yo, Rolf, Rolf got down different, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did, you use a did, did you have a plank? Oh. I had, I had, I had a plank. I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> no, hold up. One time we went on a camping trip and this fucking kid that we went on a camping trip with like he was like ADD or some shit. Like he had some shit wrong with him, and he grabbed like a wood, a piece of wood from the fire, and he called it planky, and he drew like a face on it, and like we had run out of wood to burn for the fire. We were supposed to like cook shit, so we we're like, bro, oh. let let us get the fucking plank so we can cook. No. And he's like, no, and he he's ran like the and, plank. That's foul, bro. Bro, he ran into. We didn't have no more wood, bro. We got to cook. So this dude took this fucking plank, bro. Listen, bro, we took his fucking plank, and he ran into the woods, and he got like. In his underwear and shit, and he was like climbing through trees and like doing monkey noises and shit at us. Like he went full fucking Vietnam and shit. He went fucking full, planky, bro. He went full monkey mode. I back just like Jimmy. That boy done set a booby no, trap. No, Jimmy was the one with the with the like the oh, brace. Yeah, 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 with the brace, and, yeah, that, and Sarah, Sarah was his name? sister. Yeah, was, that was his. That was his sister. Yeah, hmm? What's my man's name? I forgot Kevin. his name. Not Kevin. Kevin was the one with the, the bike cool. rumber. Yeah. Oh, so wait. See a nerd. Who's Kevin's cool nigga? Who are you looking for? Yeah, plank. The bald head nigga. Yeah. Oh, Tommy or some. Yeah, I just, no. I just watched it the other day. Yeah, bro. I can't remember, bro. That was a T, right? It's not today. They'll correct us in the comments. Yeah, bro. true. Man, that fucking shit. Fuck. Um, Rugrats is up there. Rugrats, Rugrats is yeah, because yeah, I, I, I Tommy then hey, reminded Power. me of that. Rocket, Rocket Power, 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 Rocket Power is a sleeper. Coolest niggas ever, bro. Danny Phantom, Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Danny Phantom, I, I, I didn't get Danny to say. Yeah, that's my shit too. He's Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Man, I just heavy. finished binging Danny Phantom. That was a really, really good show. Oh, yeah. Avatar. We ain't even... Avatar's oh, a great Avatar. show. Yeah, Avatar's I know Dre probably ain't watching. He ain't watching that. Boy Avatar's a great show. Oh, so I think Avatar is definitely like... Fucking like Avatar. That was <laughs> Like, if you're, if you're looking at, like, show quality, it's up there. It's definitely up there. That was a quality-ass show, bro. That shit was well-written, well-animated. Well, yeah, yeah, well... Executed perfectly. <laughs> Dorks. Storyline was fire. <laughs> fire, my nigga. Nerds. Fight's on point. You get better bro, at Uncle fighting Arl, just Uncle by Arl watching Uncle Iro was definitely it. that uncle we all needed in life. I got better at fighting. Uncle Iro was definitely a dope character. <laughs> uh, you could have did. You could have did both ways. You could have sat down yeah. and watched that and got your. What are we forgetting, up. bro? Know, about this ain't a top. We ain't all the uh, cartoons, bro. We, 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 we going to top ten right we, now. No, let's just top ten. Let's just top ten, bro. Uh-huh. Number one, all time Scooby Doo. That's facts. Number two, mm-hmm. regular show. Regular show is that shit. It's one of the modern Number ones. Number three, SpongeBob SquarePants. Of course. That's undebatable. Number four. Uh huh. Who's number four, Dre? Uh, number four? Foster. What well, about Foster Home for a Minute? Oh, yes. No, they ain't top five. They ain't top five. No, we're doing best five. Yeah. Okay. It's still, five yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm throwing Jimmy Neutron is. in there. And number four? 
I'll throw Jimmy Neutron there. Me Jimmy personally. I'll throw Jimmy at four. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll throw Jimmy, Jimmy at four, bro. I'll do that, bro. Right, I'll, I'll do, do that, that for you. I'll that shit. Mm-hmm. I throw Jimmy at four. Five. Five. I'm going to switch that up from what I said earlier because I, I forgot one. Uh-huh. Five. I'm going Dexter's Laboratory. Five. That's okay. Okay. That's the laboratory at Johnny five. Johnny Tess, bro. Six. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Tess was, Johnny yeah. Tess was not top, top 10, bro. I got Johnny Tess top 10, bro. It's not bro. top 10, bro. Yeah, I'm top 10, bro. Really? Johnny Tess Johnny Johnny top 10. 10, bro. Let me continue. I watched that so Six, much. Six, I got Fairly Odd Parents. Okay. okay. That's fair. Seven, I got Proud Family because I am a black oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yes, obviously. Proud Family. Proud Family. Hey. Hey. I got Johnny Tess, bro. Okay. Johnny Tess at eight. Okay. Johnny Tess at eight. At nine, I got Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold is the shit. And in the top 10. Uh-huh. The tenth best cartoon of all time, in my opinion. Oh. My personal opinion. Okay. Per- yeah. Ain't personal. nobody judging you. My personal, like personal, personal. personal okay. Opinion. From his right. soul. From my soul. From my spirit. <laughs> all right. From his spirit. From my bones. Go ahead, bro. Kim Possible. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Nigga reaching this Disney bag at the end. end. You feel me? Nigga, I from was forgetting okay. all, all the Disney channels. All the Disney boy. cartoons I, I forgot channels, about those shit. Nigga. To be honest, our family was Disney though. Yeah, yeah probably was that's why he, he, he I, named um, that like right before. Oh, bro, I think. honorable mention from Disney, bro. Uh-huh. Emperor's New School, bro. That shit is lit. Fine. No, Emperor's New Groove. No, no, Emperor's that's... New Groove is a TV show. Emperor's New School is a movie, I think. Yeah, Emperor's New Groove. Emperor was a Nickelodeon. Was nah, bro, it was Disney. It was Disney. Yeah, Cusco uh-huh. was Disney. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. I didn't uh, know that. Who else, bro? Damn. I think Disney had all the good cartoons. Invader Zim. I yes, read the shows. Yeah. Invader Zim is up there. Invader Zim. Oh, Phineas Ferb is up there, bro. Oh yeah, Phineas Ferb is definitely is up there. I watched that Disney. shit a lot too. That's I was I was grown as hell in high school watching that, bro. Twelfth grade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gumball. Word. Gumball is Gumball up there. Gumball is up there. Oh yeah, I love Gumball, bro. I watch that to this day. To this day. Flapjack's fire, bro. Gravity Fall. Gravity Fall, yeah, I love Gravity, Gravity Fall. Fall. I love Gravity, yeah. Gravity Fall lost me, man. Bro, I woke up one morning, bro, and this shit was on the TV, bro. Nigga was talking about being like possessed by a demon, and them niggas went. They just yeah, it, was, it, was, it was a little they went through a portal and yeah. went to hell, bro. I was like, yo, it was Illuminati shit, but the nigga Bill was yeah, just, he, 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 was, he was like a triangle, yeah, yeah, bro. Boy, I was like, yo, I can't. He was have the all this powerful playing while I was sleeping, bro. I wasn't on Disney Channel, the regular channel. It was on XD. Oh, oh yeah, Disney XD. Yeah, XD. Is that uh, Zeke and Luther? Hey, I remember Kate oh, Batowski. Yeah, 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 let's get. <laughs> but that I was more like a real life. Kate Batowski life. slap, bro. Oh, yeah, Kate Batowski slap, yes. bro. Kick, that nigga. kick, kick. Bro, this shit. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, Camp uh, Laszlo. My yeah, Jim Laszlo. 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 My gym partner's a monkey. My gym partner's a monkey. Oh yeah, my gym partner. Oh, bro, I'm just getting a rush of some shit that I used to watch when I was a kid. Them two for sure. Uh, Billy uh, Misadventures of oh, Billy, Billy and Mandy. Mandy. That's like, that definitely shit, has yo, to be up there. Hey, that shit used to make me feel like I'm Billy going Mandy was so dumb. Funny. Like yeah, you bro. watch that shit, boy, you gonna get stupid. Did you watch, you watch Brandy and Mr. Whiskers? Be dumber, huh? Did you watch Brandy and Mr. Whiskers? Yes, yes. Oh, cat fire. dog, cat dog, fire as hell, boy. Cat dog, I remember that. I just remember that. Cat dog is fire as fuck, bro. Tell you, cat dog was fire as fuck, bro. Hey, I remember Static Shock. I used to Static always Shock. Oh, Static Shock was a dope. Shock yes. superhero cartoon. What about like the Batman and the Spider Mans and shit? It's, it's, they had all the Marvels of them. My nigga, it's hard to keep track. You know, you know, it's a sleeper that I really enjoy. What? what? Fillmore. Fillmore. What's that? Oh, that you remember Fillmore? Familiar. Yeah, I get him and Doug mixed up. Yeah, uh, Fillmore is like Black Doug. Yeah, kind of. Like, that's the one. Oh, that, I remember that. That's yeah. the one. That, hey, they be that's using the that meme. chicken yeah, from the was meme. dry. Yeah. On that, on that <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Fillmore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I know you're from. Yeah, dude yeah. had the glass. Like, that's you know a really, what? it's he a really good show. Yeah. Yeah. You, were, you were like a hall monitor, right? Yeah, I don't fucking you know. I don't about? remember. He was growing with me, man. From Kyle Family. No, he was a hall monitor for some dude. He was a hall monitor. He was a hall monitor. Recess. Recess is hard. Yeah, recess. Yeah, recess is hard. I remember that shit. I used to binge I don't that. Think you put that. I, don't think I used to think that. Recess of the Magic School Bus was like the same universe. But the like, Magic School Bus go so crazy, bro. So I know, crazy. right? What about the educational Top ones? Like, notch, like, cri- like, uh, you about, uh, about cyberspace. Chris, Chris, or yeah, cyberspace. Yeah. Oh, oh my Chris god, Matt, bro. Bro. <laughs> we're getting into a bad. Hey, we hold on. He's got on a whole other level. Arthur, bro. Arthur, 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 Arthur,
Yes, it's one of the lines. I used to wake up at six in the morning. Yeah, to watch I used to watch that. That dude was he fire. Six in the morning. Remember, remember the cliffhanger guy? Cliffhanger, oh, yes. hanging yes. from a cliff. Did you, did you watch Go Day Go Girl? Yes. Did you watch Go Day Go Girl? Oh my god, bro! Nigga used to have a pinky on oh, his ass. Uh, <laughs> Spell the word or I'm a fall, nigga. He was sweating more than the spelling bee. No, hey, y'all, was, um, hey, y'all remember the one time he finally got rescued and then he one? like slipped again yes, and then he was back. I was, was like, bro, you yeah. had one shot, yeah. bro. Yeah. Was you you deserve this what? shit. Say the science kid. Oh, say the science kid is that shit. But that was like a way well, That's, uh, that's why I be on Corday. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, that's, I was old by then. I felt like what I was old. What about Martha, the talking he was dog? Like nine. It wasn't that heat, though. Nah, that was mm, what's, that, watching on the what's that one with the with the pigs, bro? Peppa Pig? No, no, no. No. It's not that oh. one. It's the hamsters. Um Damn, Warner Bros. Max and Ruby. You ever watched that show? Those are rabbits, bro. Those are rabbits. It was rabbits. Yeah. It was rabbits. Yeah. It was rabbits. Yeah. What about um Clifford? Max and Ruby? Clifford. We, yeah, it we said Clifford. It was it was fire. Not really educated from anything. And there was a Caillou and learning. Nigga, everything. Caillou, no, TV. Hey. Hey. Caillou like Caillou I, slap. I used to Caillou really like. No, hold on. I used to really really like Caillou, and then I went back and watched it as an adult. And this He's dude is the biggest bitch. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah. 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 Bitch ass nigga. Most bro. terrible bitch-ass person. For sure. The, He's a little kid. There's bitch ass nigga. Bro, the first episode, <laughs> his dad was like. Hey Caillou, like I won't be able to take you to the museum today, but we can go tomorrow. And he yeah. threw a fit, like his dad told him. <laughs> like his dad told him, we're never going. He like yeah. threw himself on the ground and wah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you're going tomorrow. Fucking relax. I, I totally forgot about <laughs> that. That's that, a that stupid, bro. Uh, yeah, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of enjoyment out of little getting Bill. beef with Caillou. Oh my oh, god, little uh, Bill. Little I ain't want to bang Bill shit up. Yeah, I ain't want to bang Bill shit up. Yeah, it uh, yeah. yeah. hey, was the best one though. You think Arthur was the best one? I think Arthur. I think Arthur might have been the best. The theme song is amazing. Mm-hmm. I, I, Arthur probably was the best one, the but streets. the one I watched the most probably was Dragon Tales, bro. Because I think that Dragon was just the time Tales. we used to Dragon. wake up. Did you wish and wish with all your heart? Bro, them kids were, <laughs> them kids, them kids were professional <laughs> liars, bro. Their parents never came up to Dragons here. in the land of Come on, bro. Yeah, that shit. Watch Dragon Tales at daycare, not the crib. Um, in the crib, I watched. I remember another one. Yeah, go ahead. But like. PBS, oh, PBS right. kids is like it literally like, there. Like, PBS if you have no, if you have no cable, bro. bro. I know I didn't a have a sloth cable. or something, oh, okay. bro. It was oh, like it was in the jungle. Bro. Yes. In the jungle, bro. I forgot yes, what it was called. I can't called. remember that shit, though. Yes, bro. You know oh what I'm talking God, about, Oh, my God. Yes, It's right, going to load. It's going to load wait. up. The show that we used to watch, it was on PBS, I think. And, like, they were in a jungle, though. And it was like. Oh, about Teletubbies. Teletubbies isn't a cartoon, bro. That shit was just some creep shit, bro. No, that shit scarred me. Might be the weirdest show ever advertised. I remember, remember, remember when like the baby's head was like the sun. That's, yeah, the sun. I, I think used that's to wake the reason I shit. have nightmares at night. Like just <laughs> fucking teletubbies, bro. I'll just like be in the nightmare. And the fucking sun's just looking at me and giggling and shit. And I'm like, bro, stop. <laughs> hey, as a matter of fact, fact bro. I was when I was a kid. I used to be like on some like thinking, thinking on some heavy philosophy shit, bro. Like. I'm thinking it's because of that, bro. I think it was, used to wake I think it was up born and, to smoke weed. I used to wake up and be like, why am I here? What am I? What is my no. Then I used to be like, yo, I'm really here. Like, Oh, the Kells, I feel you, yeah. I'm real. Do you, ever, do you ever feel weird that like you see yourself in the first person? Yeah, it's like, yeah, bro. Now, like, now, when I was a kid? No, like now I'm like when I was a kid, I'm here, sitting there like in damn, this like, motherfucker, bro. Like it, it's real, is, bro. Yeah, I know, it's that, the that most weird self, right, like self actualization. Yes. Like I'm here. Yeah, I'm that here. shit. That yeah. shit sucks, dude. Because after you self actuate, like that, it's all downhill from there. Because it's like damn, bro. Like self actuate when you, when you like, realize that you're like you realize a person, that like, like you're alive. <laughs> you realize that like damn, like this shit is real. Like anything yeah. that happens to me will happen to me for real. Like this ain't like some. <laughs> like there's consequences to this shit. Yeah. You know? And then it's like, bro, I if used I to think. If I fuck think, up, that's it. Like I, like I don't know. It's but real, I, bro. I was it's a really, a I was a really game. pessimistic, terrible ass kid. So. It's not a game. But look, bro, I used to be like, also wondering, like, am I the only real person? And everybody's like Dude. fake. Like, Dude, or, like me, you're just, me you're and like, Kels, me, what we'll be weird. Hold on, me, children, me and Kels, bro. me and Kels will be weird. It's cool. Yes, I used to think I, the exact yeah, same shit. I'm gonna try to hold that down. Like, hold this, yeah, hold this down. I used to be like, does bro. everyone see themselves in the first yes. person, or are they all just like, like simulations or like, some shit? The way like, the, when they do stuff, I'm like, bro, are you doing it? 
because like you just on a route or you really thinking you thinking and breathing and shit like me right now like yeah or I'm like looking at are you, you and you just look like you just shit. moving you just on autopilot but my, I'm my biggest thing is like how do people view you like how do people yes, like because yeah. you can never you can never jump into someone else's body and see how they look at you that's what I you don't know like, what you don't know like to be like what is your life like what is going on in your head are you even thinking anything like how do you view colors like how do you see things like how do you shoot shapes yeah. Now I know, like, other people got souls and brains and shit because I, I thought about it. Like, the more you think, it's obvious, okay, this person gets mad yeah. and shit. But just at the moment, I was like, yo, other people, like, like my sister at the time, bro, my little sister, I felt like she was here just to make my life hard, bro. She used to break That's my true. toys and mm-hmm. shit. She used to get me <laughs> whooped and shit. I ain't even be You're doing, doing that. Job, She'd bro. get mad and be of, like, oh. I feel you on that one, bro. Now I'm getting my ass whooped. I'm like, yo, this shit is yeah, she's just a simulation. Like, she's just the final boss. I need to get rid of this. Hold on. I got, <laughs> I got, I got a question for Kells because Kells is on that weird shit with me. Because I've been asking people this and they have no idea. I think I asked you this the other day. Yeah, you did tell yeah. me about this. Yeah. What if you like, what if like you were walking and somebody like came up to you and said, dude, wake up. And you wake up and you're like 12 years old. And the last like, what, 13 years of your life have been just a complete dream. That'd be lit. That would. Hey, yo, that would be lit because, yo, I don't know. I would want to live the same shit twice, though, but I would also want to change yeah. something. But if I change I, something, ain't no telling what we're going to be. Same shit, but like enhanced. But enhanced. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I probably want to get. Like, you know what I'm saying? You go the same route, go to the same schools, but yeah, be like, way more. Yeah. Academy. Good ass academy, man. Good yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Like, you know what I was saying? Like, like, whatever trajectory I'm on. Grades. Whatever trajectory, I want to hit it faster though. Faster, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be thing. wiser. I'm not even gonna be chasing. But still, though, like, no, I don't believe myself, myself bro. He won't go get A's again. Yeah, <laughs> I don't believe myself. I'm gonna get A plus plus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get an S on that motherfucker. Yeah, we all one hundreds this time. Facts, <laughs> bro. What's the problem? I don't. I don't believe myself oh, like that. Though. Man, I feel like here. I feel like I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, bro. I'm twelve again. Like I'm gonna focus on school. I'm gonna get good grades. I'm going to just underachieve again, just be an AC and be like, fuck, bro, I did this shit twice. No, but you're not going to. Bro, you're so if pessimistic, you go back, bro. If you basically had a dream for all of, me, of, all of that, right, and you just gained knowledge of now, bro, life. I'm, I'm mad lazy, bro. Back, are, we, are, are we all going back? Whether you lazy or, is it or not. just one of us? Whether you lazy or no, not, bro. No, just you. Just you? Well, everyone else is going to be. Everyone else. Try to read me y'all again and shit? Yeah, everyone else is 12. Because yeah, you're 12, we was too. At, whatever. Yeah. You, you back. Do you think that we become friends twice? I don't think so. If you did, it would be weird though, because like, what happens if you miss like a pivotal yeah, moment in your life and friends. it completely like changes changes your like what your path? I'm friends with now. I wasn't friends with in high school. Yeah, friends. and I don't like I don't make friends that easy. So like, I have to like bump into you somehow to make friends. So like, yeah. what's up? I would be friends with Kelly either way. Yeah, I don't because I mean, you think we would have just met up somewhere? We were not a few, <laughs> one of the few black men, bro. <laughs> That no, no matter which timeline you always yeah, meet, yeah, yeah, yeah. you always link. Black men, and we both was in like the classes, like a great above ours. Yeah. We were smart. You know what I dream of all the time? It's just an absolute here. nightmare. Like, what if I never left Darnell Cookman? Bruh, no lie, I think about that too, bro. Like, if I, I never left Darnell about, Cookman, I'd be a horrible about, person. What if I would have, uh, would never with Darnell Cookman? Because I think my life would have been a lot different. Because Darnell Cookman is why I stopped caring about school. Because mm-hmm. I graduated, and uh, I was an honor student in middle school. That's how Oh, at Darnell. First night, we was like, all right, cool. We ain't here. We at Darnell. That's good. I'm mad smart. I'm going to smack this shit. And I was doing it. But they was killing the nigga, bro. Breaking that nigga back with the assignments. Yeah, bro. bro. Oh, yeah. Second nine weeks. Dude. I'm like, man, fuck it. I ain't You're telling me we, shit, lo- we left at the same time for the same reason. Shit, bro. In Latin class, bro, no bullshit. I took like 30 straight zeros. I wasn't doing nothing uh-huh. in that bitch, bro. Yeah. He wouldn't even <laughs> hand me a test. He would like turn it over my desk and just walk off. Yeah, bro. I mean, that shit was fucking. That stupid. shit broke my spirit as a student, bro. Ruined my life. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Too much nah, homework, but, bro. I mean, for Too you, much homework. for you, it I would be I'm a cool, nigga. So, nah, no, I skated off. Through high school. I probably try to go to Kirby and Smith. I'm smart, so I was still smacking on my bro. Fist. Kirby Smith. I, I would have loved to go to Kirby and he's Smith, gonna bro. He's going to be more excellent. <laughs> because <laughs> bro, I would have loved. The only I wanted to go to Harvard <laughs> at third yeah, grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, if you have the tools in your head, like I know, like a lot of like. In terms yeah. of academics, like I'll be so just like ahead of the curve. Ahead of the curve. Yeah. I'll be like, you know, making See, but you could either do it two different ways. You could be ahead of the game on the academic side, or you could be ahead of the game on the social side. 
Like if you was lame before, shit, I'm gonna be cool oh, as true. hell this time. You know what I'm saying? So it's or you could do both. You can oh, balance lame, both. Though. You could be on the athletics and everything, but that's you're gonna stretch yourself kind of thin though. You might not be a like I would have played ball more. I don't know. Shit, you might I'm still be team, smart. Yeah. Knowing everything you know now, that school stuff was easy, man. That school stuff was real easy. No, nah, but then it was like Uncalled for. It was uncalled for. The homework is where <laughs> I was matter. coming up short because I wasn't doing it. After yeah. I, I go home, I'm chilling. Oh, really? Don't give me no work to take yeah, home. Sure. I don't take don't none of my job home. Yeah. I don't I take home, my job like, home. Bro, I like, clock the hell out and go home. Like, low-key, bro, oh, like, yeah. I, like, all, like, all of their homework assignments, like, you just type it in. Like, that's all I did. Bro, when I was in high school, I was I was working. I was playing basketball. If I, if I wasn't working to play basketball, nigga, I was chilling. I wasn't doing no damn homework. I did my homework in study hall, like senior year, so I started doing homework. Keep them grades up. that, bro, my entire grading was pretty off the test scores, bro. If I wasn't smart, I would have failed. I would have out of high school. Because I was smart, I, was, I ain't doing no work, but I'm still like in class, I hear what they're saying. I'm smacking these tests. Yo, I had tests with Joseph. I used to have, yeah. my, I had my head down in class, bro. They really get a test. I got a 94, and Mr. Brandon be mad as shit, and Joseph's going to be laughing. <laughs> Cause the nigga was listening the whole time. Yeah, he just and, got my head and down. And then you ain't listening. I just don't want to be in here. But yeah. I ain't no dumb nigga. <laughs> you that shit used nigga. to happen to me, bro. Like, I, I used to like calculate. Bro, I, I, I got five much... my first ever F cat. <laughs> Came in the game strong. <laughs> Came in the game <laughs> strong. Yeah, strong. I used to like calculate exactly how much work I would have to do to get I did, a I passing too. grade. Oh yeah. My God. I, yeah, I would go on. <laughs> I, I was going to grade part of bro, looking at the percentages. And was yeah. like, all right, so yeah, I got, you could have used right, that so ambition to actually like get the A's though. I'm saying that's the funniest shit. I know, right? It was just like that shit was was just requiring too much. I don't, feel, much, like, I don't bro. feel like getting good grades proves anything about you. No, we, I know that. I know mad stupid niggas that made honor roll. Of course, like oh yeah, 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 I would be in these like honor classes. It would be like grading our tests and shit, and just mad misspelled yeah, from words. Yeah, like, from K to twelve, it's not really like like you getting Who A's. Not much. Unless you go to like some like prestigious school, like. Not even that. I bro. went to that school. Don't matter, bro. Mad dumb niggas in there. Really? Get, yeah, John you, went to Stanford. All you do is do your work. That's true. Only thing it takes to do. But John, but but John. Uh, no, 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 no. I got but, you. I'm gonna play this shit for John. But John, but John, in three years, bro, already like working on his masters, though. Yeah, that's true. John's a fucking. John dude. is on like on some fast track type. Like he's yeah. just gone. <laughs> Everybody full speed. He got the really smart version of autism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like my brother will sit and like. Yeah, John is a real John. Cool. John will John's eat fucking books genius. up. John, we used to find John like we would go to like fucking like clothing stores. Like uh, what is it? Burlington had like a book section. Mm-hmm. Like John would dip off to the book section and like we look for him forever. He's we, read books, bro. We find him like between two bookshelves, and he has like a pack, like a stack of fucking books that he's already read, and he's like reading through them shits, and he could like comprehend that shit a hundred percent. Like he's like read and understood that book. Throw it away. Dude would eat through Harry Potter books. Like, two hours, he's done with the first one. He's picking up the second one. Damn. Burning through those shits, bro. Yeah. But he just has no fucking social skill. and That's why he's already on his yeah. master's. Yeah, that's autism. Yeah. Because yeah, isn't autism a spectrum, right? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. a spectrum, yeah. That's why, like, by... Uh, he's, like, socially. Like his, his, right? yeah, yeah, like, he can talk. Like, it's really mild. It's just... Like, his, so- his social awkwardness is the most... Yeah. Part like he's not so socially anxious that he won't talk, yeah. which is nonverbal. But he like he still gets nervous. He trips up. I mean, he, he, do like, hey, and he don't speak to me if he comes to my house ever. Yeah, John hates like. Yeah. <laughs> I got like. What's up, John? I feel him though. It's really, really, nothing. It really like. No, 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 no. no. In, in a sense, like, like I don't yeah. do well in. I don't do very well in like group settings. Yeah, I'm no, I like beating. No, but John is like that. But John to myself. But John's like a little like. No, John is afraid of conversation. He's told me. He said, like, looking somebody in their eyes and talking to them is, like, the scariest thing in the world to me. Oh, and I was like, damn, like, that's, like, I never thought of it that way. Because like, yeah. I know, like, you read about it in books and shit, but, like, mm-hmm. it's like a fear for him. It's like, that's like looking over a cliff for him or some shit. Oh, wow. You know, it's, like, crazy. But, well, what y'all talking about, bro? Nothing, bro. Keep going. No, that's it. All right, Rochelle. What's next topic? <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know. I think I think we hey, both talk a little. I'll talk a little sports. I don't know nothing about sports. I don't yeah, know nothing neither. about it right now. Hey, John. I mean, we gotta get, get. We gotta get a sports yeah. podcast. Wouldn't that be nice? Y'all niggas, <laughs> y'all niggas don't care about no type of sports. 
Oh, not really. No, it's this, not this that I don't care. Hall. I just don't. We gonna call the sports podcast PE class or some shit. <laughs> 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 no, I just uh, gym class, nigga. Gym class. I don't keep up. I don't keep up with sports as much Black as I should. Bro, I like seeing, sports. Seeing year I had Jim and Joseph. I feel like it's jumper more of a chore for me. What happened? Seeing year I had Jim and Joseph, bro. Worst jumper ever. Yes. Worst jumper. Worst jumper ever, bro. Which I don't I jump. I don't jump. Terrible jumper. I, I, I'm talking about the jump shot, bro. I don't jump. Oh. Terrible shooter, bro. My man's just smacking the backboard. Oh, he hard got the worst ass. jumper. Fuck, bro. <laughs> oh, it's hitting the backboard hard. <laughs> that big guy, that big bro. Shooting got wild games. He remember he's in high school. He was wild, strong, bro. So he, and then he was throwing cannons. the ball with all his muscles to the goal, <laughs> smacking the shit out of the backboard. <laughs> Beating the backboard Beam to death, home. bro. <laughs> Beating the backboard to death, bro. I never said he I was doing sports, like bro. Nick, but the guy had soft touch. You know what I'm saying? Part of that. Greatest team in RCSA history. Yo, right I remember yeah. when Nicolex got on the field that one time with like they put in all the fucking like benchers and they were eating that one game. You remember? You know, remember the field. No, no. <laughs> we, we didn't play Nam Field Spray. He talking about the on hardest the game. Field. The, high, the high school started the uh, players that practiced good. It was like uh-huh. me. It was, it was supposed to be uh, Julian, but Julian didn't come to that game. It was oh, me, really? you, Nicolex. Ah, <laughs> double Nicolette You talking to the clone you, It was me, you, Ebo uh, which, which grade were what, what, like, which grade were nah, Oh, Julian and Julian was there Supposed to be in Ransom But Ransom didn't come It was me, you, Ebo And I, I want to say Malik What? Get on the mic, bro Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> Put your lips on it, bro <laughs> No, don't Nah I forgot yeah. Eat the do. mic <laughs> So I mean, kind of, yeah, but like... Yeah. But um, well, I don't want to sound too loud, you know? No, bro, I you that. sound fine right now. All right. Yeah. But Nicola, hey, bro, that same game, bro, this, this man had you playing mad, hard paint defense, bro. Paint defense was Buki Deuce, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, Nicola, like I said, the slow feet in the paint, bro. I was big, bro. What you used bro, to I wish we had called Julian, bro. Julian, because me and Julian used to laugh with this all the time about how hard we had to, we had to work that game. <laughs> <laughs> me and Julian was dogging on the back line for Nicola. Bro, bro, Julian was like one of the most like... Hey, and they had them tall niggas, so me and Julian had to get that no, athleticism up on these niggas. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of crying. I think Julian was... Yeah, Julian was a hard worker. Figure, yeah, bro. he was crazy, man. Yeah, but Julian was... He was mad of athletic, bro. I think it was an athlete. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, and now he's a civil engineer. Nah. Congratulations, bro. Back to civil engineering. Well, my man tore his knee up, but... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, he blew out his knee yeah. one time. I remember that. Like, like the park, right? Yeah, he told me about that. He Kevin weared the shit out of his leg. Y'all remember Ooh, Kev- Kevin Weir? Don't bro. say y'all remember oh, Kevin no, Weir. No, 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 no. That was... Oh. You remember that shit? I remember that because that was the first week that I had like gone to River City. Hmm? Everyone was watching that shit. His bone was sticking out his leg, that bro. Time. Man, that yeah, was traumatizing for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, yeah it wasn't it like because he jumped up and like he fell wrong, right? Or did he like someone pushed him? I don't know what the he fuck happened, happened, bro. He just jumped had up. a regular jump, jump shot. He just that's so happened. crazy. His leg just like his leg just said, and shit. "Nah, bro." That, sh- that shit folded. Mm. That's crazy, cause, bro. Because because you never get to see what he could have been in life, like. His he, went, was, he went cold, but he, but he had potential to be a pro. True, yeah, true, yeah, true. But, like, you can always get better, bro. He could have, like, he could have been something crazy. His bit was, that dude like, had no vitamin his D. His bit was like, his bit was dangling. I was like, oh, oh my god, bro. And, and I think that's so sad. What the kind of shit happened, bro? When uh-huh. a young nigga get, get yeah, like, true. He gets, he gets, uh, he gets snubbed. Uh, last month, Terrence Clark got a car accident and died, like, mm. like two months before he, he was going to be in, in, in the league. That's sad as shit. Has happened like mad times, bro. Like Len Bias yeah. uh, got drafted in the eighties to the Celtics. He broke sack like the first time ever that night in OD. Fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah. Then he got now he got drafted. Fuck. That's crazy. I ain't touching crack for yeah, nothing. Man. All right, y'all want to end on the somber note? Yeah, yeah. What's somber enough? I ain't trying to continue on with somberness. I already brought this on this episode for no reason. Yeah, we. Oh, I, th- I think I think we're I think we're straight, man. I think we talked yeah, about apologize. everything we need to talk Jack about. You're all straight, right. bro. I'm sorry, yeah, bro. it's that all was, good. That, that was somber, but, but that was this was a great podcast. We it hit was. a lot. We touched a lot of bases. I'm glad thank to be you. here. Thank you as Nicholas. a guest. Yeah, thank you for gracing yes, us with sir. your presence, bro. Thank you. For we missed coming. you. We love you always, and you are thank always you. welcome here, bro. Thank you, thank you. Don't don't come every day though. That little black. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Get the I fuck out of here. Go back I'm to Orlando. Just, I'm still just a fan. Get I know. Get you a fucking job, <laughs> and then come <laughs> back. You know, every once in a while. All right, all right. I mean, he got jobs. I'll in be Dubai around. County. Yeah, bro. Um, Julian, you're up next. So uh, get ready. 
Bring that ass. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do... You know what we got to do? I got to get, like, a bigger shit. We got to get all... We got to reunite, like, on a big-ass fucking, like, pull-up-ass podcast. Like, everyone, like... We got to go separate. find Vladimir. Where you be oh, like, my hey, God. We got to get I'm Vlad on this fucking podcast. Vlad. <laughs> Underway, <laughs> nigga. Right. Vlad on this podcast would be fucking hey, hilarious, Fabrice, bro. Hey, Fabrice, uh, Fabrice gave me Vlad a number. I texted him. He texted me back. And I texted him again. He never responded after that. Yeah. Ass, <laughs> Vlad's <laughs> here. If you ever <laughs> hear this. You only get one. <laughs> and he is like, hey, bro, I always Yo, knew Vlad is like Jay-Z. Bro. I always knew that we would never see Vlad again after high school, bro. Yeah, he in was, high school, you we never seen. He Vlad was like the at most, none, yeah, at no like out of school event. Yeah, we yeah. never seen Vlad. Yeah. He was like the most withdrawal person. He ain't come to no basketball games. Nothing. 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 <laughs> we got we got to get Vlad over here for the culture though. Just one time. Yeah, they need to hear from Vlad, man. You think Vlad still buff? I don't know, man. No telling, bro. Nigga could have took a. He could have went a whole nother way in life. He yeah. could be like skinny, bro. Yeah, he could be. He'd be skinny. He's, He's a dad went. now already. <laughs> yeah, bro. You I, never I could know have imagined what, it. You, you yeah, don't I know, right? see nobody for a long time, bro. Like, don't bring <laughs> your kids up here. <laughs> 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 Drop them off at the babysitter. <laughs> don't bring no kids over here. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, SMG Sound Network. Amanda runs the Twitter. Shout out to Amanda. I run the Instagram. Um, Me and Kels run the streets. Yeah, yes, sir. The voice. Yeah, y'all, y'all got that. <laughs> <laughs> the voice. <laughs> no, y'all see, hey, y'all, y'all see a little dirt. Somebody DM'd him and said, "What's my name, bro?" He said, "The Gap." The gap. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Big ass gap in his tooth, that bro. Nigga, that crazy. Um, Patreon. Uh, for five dollars, five dollars a month for the twenty dollars, t- the twenty dollar tier up until June, and that gets you three plus hours of contents, mad benefits. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of Patreon content. We got something coming soon, so y'all look out for that. Um, Would recommend. Yeah, uh, <laughs> shout out to Nicol X, our uh, our latest patron. Hey. Hello, patron Nicol X. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah, no thanks, problem. See, no thanks problem. for helping. Thanks for paying the bills, bro. Thanks for us. We appreciate that. I was there before it was legendary. Thanks for letting me hold your yacht, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this episode to an NFT. Had a yeah, hey, <laughs> um. Let's see, y'all. Y'all want to say anything before we leave? Nah, man, I ain't got nothing to say. Uh, Kels, you got some words of wisdom, Pastor uh, Pastor Kels? Yes, sir. Let's go. Words of wisdom? Yeah, give, us, right. give us a little something, something. Y'all need, y'all need some words. Talking to the y'all microphone, bro. Like let, us, let us hear your words. Or just yeah. directed at a certain specific. I don't know. Whatever whatever, whatever, whatever mind, comes to your bro. head. Yeah, bro. Hey, the, this is a statement where you just talk whatever on your mind. Okay. Bro. This is you something that's been on my mind. If you or someone you know is the type of person at work that is on that police manager shit and they not a manager... Stop that shit. Mm-hmm. If somebody you ain't seen, you ain't seen them in a little minute, and you asking, where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Stop that shit. Stop looking for a motherfucker. If you ain't signing no checks, stop that shit. Because ain't no telling what's going on. I got somebody at my job that I, I go and take a shit or a piss or something like that. Uh-huh. Where's Kelly at? It's been 30 minutes. That a, and it ain't even been 30 Yo, you've minutes. You've been pissing for 30 minutes. You need to get it shut out. Like, it feel like Something 30 minutes because you're looking for me. You river. looking for me, and it feel like thirty the minutes because you sitting there counting shit. every second three yeah. times. <laughs> but to me, I'm sitting here wiping my ass. I'm washing my hands. This is ten minutes to me. It's ten minutes. You it went off? by. This shit done flew by. <laughs> you what? beat off yes or no? Y- y- you beat off. Hell no. Hell no. You beat off your name. Hell no. Not at work. <laughs> you jacking your dick, yeah? You don't. You don't. Know, you know, if you jacking your meat at work, boy, you got some problems. Yeah, you, yeah, can't, no, okay, you need your hobby. Can't get through a shift without busting a nut. That's, you got some yeah, that's, that's, that's an addiction, addiction. bro. My job hella stressful though. No wonder niggas is out here hey, catching sexual be, harassment charges on the job. They can't keep their dick asleep long enough to get on shift. Hey, hold on, nigga. Joby and niggas addicts. No, no, bro. I seen somebody. Yeah, crazy. The yeah, not in the drain. Some, yeah. some technicians on Facebook have like admitted to like peeing in the drain line and shit when they're in the attic. Like y'all are fucking disgusting, bro. Dude, that's bro. crazy, bro. <laughs> that is disgusting. But I will never beat off in an attic, bro. No in my Actually, name. I don't know, bro. Ah. Like if like the situation's yeah, right, because the attic be steamy and shit. Yeah, you know, you get, you get in your bed. <laughs> You sitting there ah, you must be all like sweaty and sticky and stuff. Uh, <laughs> you sitting there trying to go. Lube, bro. <laughs> Squeeze yeah, one bro, out real quick. Go rub your forehead in it and start his hair nice and moist. Dude, yeah. You never had car you know, sex. Nice and, bro, nice burn, some like cal- car burn some sex. calories, you know. Nice and moist. Burn some calories. Oh, no, I got car sex is, eh. Uh, it's all right. 
I think you well, the Avalon was mad roomy, you know. So I think it only works if it's like when you're young. When you oh, you want to be in there, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I ain't your had car sex in a minute. You get a cramp and shit. No but car sex. In I am a god fearing man, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't it in a church. You know how you get oh, it. No. Uh, but I am a god fearing man. I, I am a god fearing man. <laughs> so on Sundays, he is we, not getting down like that. As a weed kind of guy, too. <laughs> I'm a fan, man. I'm you just saying. Oh, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, but you I ain't scared of busting no nut. I tell you that. I mean, no <laughs> scared of no pussy. Hey, God said nobody's perfect, so choose your sins wisely. You know what I mean? Choose your sins yeah. wisely, so bro. Some niggas I'm going to this weed and bust these cooch. So, yeah, some niggas <laughs> I hear killing people. I'm out here killing a pussy. <laughs> Kels, Kel, give us one more. One more. One more, yeah. Something real good. You know, something to... Something to get me through the week, you know? Something to get you through Some inspiration the week. Now you got me picking, picking. And All right. Picking. I'm at my lowest low, bro. I need like a pick me up for real. Like what you got for me? Oh, you want me to pick a nigga up? Look, man. Oh, check this out. This is another one. Yeah. For the fellas out there that's feeling like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You down and out and shit since you say that. You got to have a mentality that you always that nigga. No matter what. Whether you got... I, I can't. I can't say that word. In a in a window to throw it out or not, you gotta feel like you that nigga, bro. Because the moment you start feeling like you ain't nothing, that's when you lose. Right. So you gotta pick yourself up, bro. Everybody gonna take L's. That's part of life. It's the beginning. It's the first letter in life. You gonna take some L's. So yeah, just, just if you down and out right now, you still that nigga, bro. Just get back on your feet. It only takes one. I appreciate you. It bro. only take one. I can't, bro. Appreciate it for real. Um, one more thing. I didn't want to like. Put this in the middle of the podcast, or nothing, but pre- please, please, please pray for Palestine because that shit is unacceptable. Unacceptable. These motherfuckers getting dragged out of their houses over nothing, screaming death to Arabs, bombing the ambulance, bombing the fucking mosque before the day, the holy day of prayer. Like that is insane. Bro, bro. bro wicked, bro. Wicked. wicked as fuck, bro. For I mean, I'm just glad people are seeing it now because motherfuckers have been evil to us for fucking decades, but. I mean, it, if it took this, then hopefully we could get some change because I don't know. They just need they just need a place to live. They weren't bothering anybody, and all of a sudden the mm-hmm. Israelis come start bombing them and shit. Like that's I can't I can't live like this, man. <laughs> that's just crazy, bro. Yeah, I, can, man, I can't no. live I can't live here comfortably seeing that. Like just every time I scroll, I see a video, and they're like literally throwing grenades at ambulances and shit. Like throwing people on the ground, spitting in their face. Wow! I mean, across that water is a whole different world, bro. Bro, I see, I see, I seen a video world, of this uh, this Palestinian kid, and he was walking from school, and they made him turn around, and they said, "If you turn around with your hands up and just walk, we won't shoot you." And they let him walk like a like twenty feet, and then they shot him anyway. Ooh, that's fucked up, <laughs> bro. That the kid, bro, that's cool, cool, that shit man. had me that's in tears, up, bro. bro. That shit is terrible. Please, please pray for Palestine. Keep us in your prayers, please. Um, other than that, thank you guys for listening. We love you. We will be on a much more positive note next week. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got something coming special for the Patreon. I'm not going to reveal what it is. Y'all got to go subscribe and figure that shit out. Kelly, what the fuck are you staring at, bro? The TV screen, fool. Oh, true. <laughs> All right. And uh, we're going to see you guys next week. Peace. Bye. Bye. Peace.